This is a, a note on resentment. While traveling in Mexico, I spent a weekend with my friends, with friends of friends in Texcoco. They had a white dog. I don't recall whether he had been inherited or rescued, but I won't forget this detail. He had worked in a circus. To prove it, my host threw a stuffed animal into the pen and the dog seized it, running a wide circle close to the fence as if in rehearsal for a performance in the ring. But instead of simply holding the stuffed animal as he ran, he swatted it about violently, a kind of rage that seemed unbecoming of his training. He thinks it's the monkey, my host told me. He's like traumatized from all the times he had to carry the monkey on his back, so now he's getting his revenge. My host laughed at this speculation, which seemed logical, if not a bit unfair, since the monkey too had been trained to ride the dog like a horse, like wearing a precious hat, likely wearing a precious hat and a leather vest. The monkey too had been imprisoned by its garb, its commands, its inability to break out of an indoctrination that shrunk its knowledge of its body, agency, and place in the world. I watched and pondered, who am I in this equation, the dog or the monkey? I used to be the monkey, locked inside my fear of not being liked, trapped by the need to be loved. Now I'm the dog. I'm definitely the dog. I hope to shake past burdens off, but even into middle age, I'm still unwilling to let go. Thank you very much.